1059 105.5 Kiss FM. It's Big Papa and Banna on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. How exciting is this? Uh, Therese from Walking Dead, Mr. Chad L. Coleman. Chad, good morning, man. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, man. Good to be with you guys. Uh, where are we catching you this morning? Oh, me? I'm in L.A., so, you know, it's earlier than early over here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, number one, thank you for getting up for us. We definitely Seriously. definitely appreciate that. Uh, number two, of course, new episodes of The Walking Dead premiere this Sunday. Uh, it, if Everyone's counting down for it. It's so funny because people are like, okay, which are people going to watch live and which are people going to DVR? Because you got, uh, you got the SNL. Um, uh, it's the 40th anniversary of no, that's not the S, that's next week. Uh, the Grammys are going on yes. this weekend, this Sunday, and that uh, I have a feeling that you guys are going to outdraw the Grammys. <laughs> I kind of well, have I, a feeling I, too. I, I like the way you think. <laughs> Seriously, if you heaven forbid someone can't watch Walking Dead live, oh my gosh, you, the world will end. I you no, out. seriously, you have to cut yourself off from Facebook. Twitter, any social media until you get a chance to watch it. Otherwise, it's absolutely ruined because people are live tweeting and updating the entire time. It's I mean, it's gotta be it's gotta be cool to be a part of that. Yeah, man, that's that's absolutely correct. It's it's pretty amazing. And I tell people a lot of times it's a throwback show. It takes us back to the days when everybody had to climb around a TV like you didn't have a choice. You know, it was your favorite show. You had to sit and watch it. And that's what's so cool about it. Kind of brings everybody back to that era where families are now sitting down and watching TV together again. And that's ironic that, you know, social media is kind of driving that. But, but you don't want the spoilers. And you don't, you want it, um, uh, you know, you want the whole thing clean. You don't want anything to distract from it. And, and it's kind of disappointing if somebody kind of drops a bomb oh, on you. Let know? me tell you something. The Seriously. world the world ends. I see it every single Monday when you guys are running new episodes. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have opened up Facebook today. Seriously. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, that's, that is so real. That's really hard, though, right? That, that's a tough one. Seriously. You know? Talking yeah. to uh, Chad L. Coleman on the Lennon Jewelers Hotline. Walking Dead, of course, comes back on a Sunday and uh, of course you can follow him on Twitter at Chad L. Coleman um, to talk to me about because you had said you know everyone is now it, it's very rare that people make appointments to watch anything anymore and they're making appointments to watch Walking Dead and that's because um, no one knows what the hell is going to happen. And I would imagine that's because uh, the producers and the powers that be really go the extra mile to make sure that no one leaks anything, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Like, like what kind of like what kind of stuff uh, are we talking about? Uh, like, I've heard of people having to sign for their for their scripts and stuff like that. But are, are there other things as well? No, no, it's, it's very much the um, uh, people, the executive producers and, and PR, you know, getting us all in a room and basically uh, martial law. If you say anything, <laughs> you know, you will lose your job. You know, you, you don't want to be fired. Do you can keep your mouth shut? That's pretty much it. But the other thing is, and we're all in on that as storytellers. We want the audience to have that experience, the full experience, too. Right. So we all, we all as actors know that the payoff we get just from reading that script and, you know, our mouths are on the floor. So we want them to have that same experience, too. Yeah, if anybody, if anybody leaks anything, they're going to get treated like a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> no one wants to go there. <laughs> Seriously. By the way, what the? Why did Beth die? I don't even want to talk about that. Come on. Did you cry as hard as I did when she died? Come because on. I cried like a baby. Yeah, everybody <laughs> did. But that, there's more to that, which I'm sure you guys heard on the Talking Dead and everything. We try to give people a, at least a three episode notice that you know you're going to get taken out. And uh, so that didn't happen for, with her for whatever reason, and that was unfortunate. So there was an extra oomph of tone for us all, and yeah, nobody saw that coming. But there's a um, 
there's a payoff to that. If she wasn't as great as she is and beautiful and had all that hope in her eyes and was emerging as this little fighter. No, shut uh, up, Chad. It, it shut up. I'm missing Chad. Shut up. I'm missing her more. The more you talk with the gleam in her eye and everything. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're making me miss her more. I know. Seriously. You're killing me right now. I Come flipped on. out on my television. I flipped out on my television when Beth died. I was throwing things at it. I was upset. Yes. I was so upset. We're talking to Chad L. Coleman. What is it? You know what I'd love to do? Sure. I, I wish they would. I wish that AMC would put little GoPros and, and uh, agree to put GoPros in a lot of living rooms all around the world and, and let the people see the reaction, the visceral reaction people have when these amazing things occur. Oh, absolutely. We, 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 we may start doing yeah, that Yeah, I'll do that for you yeah. because... <laughs> I watch that show, and every time someone dies, I'm th- I'm throwing stuff at my TV. I'm screaming at it. I'm like, really? <laughs> Chad L. Coleman on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Of course, the return of Walking Dead this Sunday, so make sure you check that out. You can follow him on Twitter at Chad L. Coleman as well. And I realize you got uh, you have limited time. Um, one last question, um, and obviously you're not going to give us spoilers because no one wants to you know have you Lou, go off the show. Um, but are you surprised at the types of celebrities and the celebrities that come in for that after show? Yes, all the time. All the time. Just just absolutely floored. Because so often, uh, you know, celebrities are so busy and, and they don't really get a chance to watch TV. And when they do, they don't become mega fans, though. But these, these folks are becoming mega fans. I mean, they're in it as deep as all the rest of our amazing fans. So that that floored me for sure. Seriously, when I, when you see like Jack Osborne and Marilyn Manson, who doesn't That's do what? anything ever, is co- is coming up and is talking, you know, at, you know, he's knee deep in it. He's just as emotionally invested as anybody else is, you know? That, that's right. Or one of the guys from Key and Peel, you know, both of them are, but one of them was on the show, you know. And to see all that passion and that they're diehard about it too. It speaks volumes to what we've been fortunately able to create. Well, Chad, uh, I, I we appreciate the time, and I realize you're busy getting you know getting everyone else ready for uh, for this Sunday. We're definitely ready. We got to have you back on another time because we got plenty more questions, even non Walking Dead related. Because yeah. we didn't even t- we didn't even scratch the surface with you, man. So anytime you want to come back on, it's a it's an open forum. All right. Hey, man, it'd be my pleasure. Absolutely. Chad L. Coleman, everybody. A Walking Dead returns Sunday on A&E on the Lennon Jewelers Island. Follow him uh, at, at Chad L. Coleman. We're going to break, come back. Big Papa and Banna on KISS FM.